Okay, so we're up at this point now. Uh, just kind of this general area, I mean. Um, oh, that would kill. I don't like the damage I would take, but... Should be worthwhile. We will crush them. Uh, let's see. Two, one more. Hopefully the 11 doesn't hit. But I figured it would. So now as long as I can get someone to heal him, that won't be too bad. And, um, can Azura reach? No, can't quite reach Jacob. So close, so close. Uh, but yeah, we're working our way back up here. Um, now there's just this outlaw left, so like this chase, or this chest is still untouched, rather. Um, so that's a thing. So, you know, that's, it's gone a little differently so far. Just start running Sakura. Uh, I guess I can't until I have you move. How far can you move? Okay, so let's do that then to maximize Azura's movement this turn. Let Kagero go again. And run you up. There. Okay. So now, maximizing movement again. I mean, I hate having uh, Sakura be like in the very back, but... You know, we have people close enough at least where they can run and intervene if need be. Ah, they did get the sh <laughs> They got the chest in the end after all. Again with these stupid percentages hitting. At least no one else has that kind of range. I'm aware, Azura! Okay. How much would you actually do if I just... Do you almost club? Actually, 78% chance to hit him. He doesn't have much dodge, and that'd be 23 twice. Glad I equipped that. That could come in handy later on. Um, for now, though, even a brass club would hit. I mean, it wouldn't kill, though. None of these would kill. But my luck has been so bad, and he would only do two. I think the best move is to do this right here. So... I guess, first of all... How much could I heal you with the sun? Restores a lot to a nearby ally. Yeah, that is what I want. Is that only four more da- Oh, okay, seven more damage. I guess that is considerable. You know, here's what I can do. Let's do that. Let's have you go there. You're only gonna take two damage, like worst case scenario, if the 54% chance hits. Which, knowing my luck, I guess it will. No, it didn't. Okay, finally. Finally, something good happened. I mean, not even good, like, that's just what I would- That's what I should expect, with it being 50-50. Why have they been hitting so often? I don't know. Yeah, let's move you there. I was gonna play it a little bit differently, but... Healing you. There you go, you should feel better. Not 100%, I mean, but better. Him go again. I mean, if I did that, you'd be at full. So whatever, I'll just use the sun fest. And he got a level up. Let's see what it is. Level 14. Oh. Yeah, I know that was awful. One skill, that's it. Ugh. I like skill, but ugh, not just skill. I mean, I guess I might as well. Here, you guys have luck before you go. It's not gonna matter. You're not getting into fights. Where you are right now. I, I guess I might as well put him there. Um, and I think that I'll, I'll put you there. But I want Kagero to get the experience for finishing you off. You may rely on me. And let's see if she gets a good level. Hopefully so. Good. Okay. HP, Strength, Resistance. I mean, it's not the best level, but I will take it for sure. <laughs> Especially compared to some of the others we encountered. Okay, this is where things went bad for us last time. But now we're only dealing with one. If I can hit once, then I think Hinoga should be able to survive. Otherwise, he just could... He could run behind enemy forces and he might get away with those two things, and I don't want him to. 81%, it should hit! It should hit both times. 
Okay. It should have hit both times from the beginning, gosh dang it. And almost a level. 3,000 gold and the Draco shield. Cool. Ah, uh, because of... The archer couldn't reach her because of positioning. Great. Now I do have to restart. Because I forget that archers can still apply their bonuses because, like... And then, of course, they move every other unit aside from the knight that's actually going to attack me. Because there's a knight there that could reach me. There's not? Was there not? Could you not reach me? You could have reached me. Wait. Could you have reached me? I don't know where you stood before. Because, I mean, this dude couldn't have. He could have hit me, but only because of Javelin. But he was in the Javelin spot. Okay! Oh, I thought I was having to restart there, like, again. Man, alright. Well, good. I'm glad I don't have to. Just Sun Festival to get you up as quickly as possible. Phew! Alright, let's see what level up was. Alright, HP, speed, luck, defense, resistance. Okay. So I will say that that was my bad, because I forgot, and even though I knew, so that's why I forgot, that, uh... Or rather, that's why I say I forgot, instead of just didn't know. That you could do that, because I had that with um, Setsuna during that last mission. So there were a lot of flying people there, if you recall. Mm, so if I use a Sting Shuriken, you'll die. Hey, that's something. And you have five, so one, two, three, four, five, okay. Hmm... I mean, they all have javelins, so what are the odds that they're actually going to... Okay, I guess here's the thing. We'll equip this, because she's going to survive. And he has the Sting Shuriken equipped. So if they attack him, they're screwed, and if not, well, I have time to move, like, all my units forward. I'll move him in case healing needs to happen. Um, I'll move her, because she's Azura, and that's super helpful. I'm going to keep that space open right there. Because I might need to have, like, Rinka step back if I want Azura to move in, or something like that. Um, with that, let's end this turn. Alright, zero damage. That one can hit. But of course that one doesn't. One damage, okay. Okay, I'm glad that one missed. Good, something in my favor. A 74% chance, and one that was actually powerful, missed. Thank goodness. He gets to apply a little bit of his super effectiveness in that area, but mostly the thing he contributed there was now they are weaker, because it's a dagger, it's a shuriken of some sort. Oh man, they're all just piling in here. I think he's running to join the fight. I am concerned with the named units. I am concerned with the named units. And he would probably insta-kill anyone, because look at his strength. Look at his magic. I mean, his magic's not as bad as his strength, but seriously. And this, even though it's a melee weapon, it's a range of three? Like, what the heck? How? How even? Dodge plus 20, I just noticed, too. All right, here. We're gonna get out of here as soon as we can. Actually, could I... S I guess, no, the best I could do is switch here, and then wait. I am gonna start moving up, up in this direction soon, though, in case things go terribly. Because <laughs> they very well might. Oh, I'm surprised you're still alive after that. Alright. Uh, I'll do it, though, because that's the, that's the best thing I've got. I might just have to have... We can do this. What's his face? Jacob, step back. So I could have uh, Kaze kill him. Actually, at this point, Rinka could just finish him off. That might be better. I mean, I might as well. Unless I just want you actually to... Yeah, do that. He would die from this, actually. 
he would die from that. Let's do that instead. Leave it to me. Watch out. <laughs> and the great knight just turns and runs. Experience leads to a level up, level 14. Good. Okay, HP, strength, skill, defense. More defense, I'll take it, you know. <laughs> Make her as tanky as possible, why not? Uh, yes. Because that one great knight, though, can do apparently 14 damage to Rinka. Rinka, of all people. Um, we are going to finish him off. Yes. Go. And we know it's gonna hit, so we'll just start, skip past that. And he got a level up, okay. Level 16 now. HP, strength, skill, speed, and luck, all good. Okay. Again, I think I'm gonna keep this, like, space open. I don't need you, though. I don't think I'm really gonna use you for this. I'd rather... Yeah, why not? There you go. Actually, though, if I have Sakura swap with Kagero, she'll be one space farther back for the sake of healing. Actually, for healing, since it's I can go across this like gap, um, as long as these two spaces are cleared, like Sakura should be good to heal anyone on this bridge that would need it. Twenty-two, twenty. Oh, it's Xander. All right, was Katrina has prepared you for this fight. Oh, I didn't notice that that was you. And look, the sting! Any crit. You'll pay for this. Gosh dang it. Now I'm sad. That was that was going well. I didn't realize that that was him. I thought it was just another great knight. I also didn't realize that he would do 22 twice. And even though it says crit 9%, Part of me feels like it was just guaranteed. Like, if you fight these guys, you're just supposed to lose. That's a bummer, though. I still don't want to just skip the level. It's a, This seems like a dumb level now, because, like, if super powerful guys are going to approach you, and relatively quickly, because I don't think that we could have killed him. I don't know. Maybe, I guess, someone better than me could have. But... It just seems dumb, because if you're going to have people like that approaching me, and not even that far through the level, are they really wanting you to just skip the level? And how could you do it without a flying character? Because there really is only like one pathway you can take to actually get there without a flying character. So whatever, we're gonna... I guess we'll start it off right, you know? Pair up. Son of a... No! 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 Pair up with Hinoka. Hinoka. Okay, um, focus on a good thing. One thing that makes it not entirely dumb, um, is you don't technically have only that pathway. If you can make it to this area with the chest fast enough with Catrian, you can activate this and it makes this entire area ice. And so suddenly the entire, well, the entire area is open. I imagine that un normal units could move normal, or at least relatively normal on ice, but mounted units like Xander would move more slowly. So everyone could go on the ice and suddenly these people on the boats would actually be free to attack. Um, but it wouldn't be as bad. All right. Now, if I could turn it to ice and then turn it to not ice, like reactivate it to make it all water again, That'd be good, because then I could have, like, Katrian activate it. Or I guess not, I was going to say Katrian activate it, leave, and then other people leave, and then have Hinoka go last, but no. Okay. So you forward. I'm going to be super careful this time. Pair up. There. The thing was that, like, so first it targeted Orochi, right? But then I hit left, and despite hitting left, it went first to Jacob. Why, when you're like this, would hitting left not lead to Hinoka, who is to the left of her? I just don't know how that's supposed to make sense. Okay, so with Sabaki's you would hit. The most accurate one is this one, though. And with Katrian's help, she actually would manage it. So we'll just do this. We'll just guarantee that. I guess not guarantee, but it's 7% twice in a row, so... Alright. 
For the rest of this, though, we are taking it pretty much the same way we did before. Where, um... I'm not going to do this. I'm not going to have her move up. Because uh, she almost died the last time. I didn't show that. But, you know, why should I? Like, there's no reason to, so... Sing for Kaze, let him go again. Let's see if this is a good level. Oh. It's okay, I had better levels last time. I'm probably not gonna get as good levels this time, because that's just how luck favors me, I guess, or the opposite of favors. I'm gonna move Jacob up. Start to move you up. The thing is, I would still like to fight people for as long as I can. I mean, I definitely want to get the chest. I want to get both of those items. Well, I want to get the 3,000 gold off of that outlaw. And I want to get the Draco shield or whatever it was. Draconic shield? I don't know. Um, what's it saying? And I want to get all the experience from as many people as I can. But as soon as Xander shows up, I am screwed. There's no way that I could take him. It had to be done. So I have to find a way... Or I could make that work. I just I just might have to be super careful. I might have to pay super attention. Thankfully he missed. Let's see if Kaze misses though. If I may. He did not, okay, so he took five damage. He's also weaker. Um he'll still I think take two hits, so I guess it doesn't really matter too much. Like I think it would have had to use Azura, like have him sink for her anyway. Or have her sink for him. We'll see. Okay. Yeah, see? Alright. Witness the strength of my tribe. No big deal though. Not a huge deal. Actually at one, could you just With the throwing club you're stronger? <laughs> because of the iron club too. Hmm. Let's then do that with the Iron Club. Remain calm. Okay, cool. Um, Vulnerary, go. Okay. Because I could still send... Kaze forward again and just see how he could do against or what he could do against this guy or this dude But your resistance is zero and that's super tempting so maybe Well if they both hit this dude would die At 93% we're gonna do this one go we can do Let's see 93 97 Don't Or a crit okay that works too Good! Okay! Yay me! Now we'll zing for Kaze though. Because we don't want Orochi to be completely like in the open. Um I mean I guess either would work, so let's just do this one. Increases accuracy to 100 percent increases dodge. Oh, uh, it was one of those dumb things again where I was looking at his attack instead of his health, and so I'm like, oh, well, he only has 11 attack? Cool. But that's his... Or 11 health? Cool, but that's his strength. That's fine. Um, you're a little injured, but I don't know if I want to fly him back just for that. Here. I meant to... Again, I hit left. Why does it keep... The directions make no sense on this game. If I hit left on the D-pad, maybe select the leftmost option. I don't know. I don't bloody know sometimes. Moving you. Moving you. That's eh, whatever. And Focused. 
Okay, so the archer's down. Well, one. Is there another that could reach? Because if so, Kaze's probably dead, and I'll just restart again, because whatever. Skill and speed. Bad level. Well, you know, good. I couldn't afford to kill another person, though he could still attack, can't he? The one who's, like, about to die. I will admit, I forgot this dude could just walk around. Delighted to help you. But it doesn't matter that I forgot about that dude, because this game is bullcrap, so... I guess, you know, it's just kind of whatever. I guarantee you, if it were my characters with those 56% chances to hit, they would not hit. They wouldn't. Guarantee. I guarantee. I really do like Fire Emblem games, but when they make you, like, do these parts over and over again because of bad luck, uh, they get frustrating. Let's see, okay, so I'm right there. Left gives me there. Let's go back to her. Let's do right. Right. Left. Why? Can I, can I turn? I know, I know if I hit right, it does that and I can zoom out a little bit. Is there a way that I can turn my camera? I don't know any other buttons. Oh. Okay, home probably would not do it. Let's close that. Wait, no! I meant resume. My bad. Okay. You know, hold on. I'm just gonna... We're just gonna handle that great night first, I guess. Right? Why not? And I could just kind of have him chill down there a little bit. Okay, so... Um, you would do okay against the Great Knight, right? Let's just have you fight. There, yeah, you pair up. And you guys go out. Okay, so we do still need to actually just get in position first and then separate. Or switch, I guess. Um, Alright, in the meantime... Moving people forward. Oh, I guess I actually want you down there. Oh well. You have time. I still have to take care of that great knight, and then if he no could come back for her anyway. Let's see what this level is! Yay, level 17! It was a good one! I probably won't get to keep it! Okay, I might. Who knows? We'll see. Um, equip this. Actually, you. Okay. You move up. And I guess I kind of want Sakura to stay down here a little bit. Which I guess she kind of has to anyway. So this knight is not going down this turn, but maybe that's for the best. Show me what you've got. Watch out. Neither of those guys are going down, but that just means that the rest of them, the rest of the baddies, can kind of like pile up behind them if they want. Little other choice in the matter, I suppose. Let's try this. Switch here. Attack. 12. 14. Uh, what exactly does Sheep Spirit do again? Has a chance at something? Use while equipped to restore 10 HP. Oh. Uh, what do you mean use? 
I'm wondering, like, if I attack with the sheep thing, um, and then he attacks me, and I attack with sheep again, just because that's how it works, will I heal as soon as that battle's over? I guess it's time to test it. Let's go. I don't know how much damage he'll do against her. He might be really strong, and her defense isn't great, so this could end really poorly. But this is how we're finding it out. Did you not get experience from that? Was my holding A, did that just like override it? I don't know, that was weird. All right, so we're going to do this and finish you off, I think. Yeah, I think I wanna do that. Go. Everything will be all right. And then let's trade with you give you the brass club up front and then attack and yeah let's say that guaranteed to kill so I'm skipping it ah oh, lovely okay I'll just let them do their thing his defense is okay but not as good as hers uh, what do you have to heal one point now I'll just I don't know. Here. I wanted her to go back anyway, right? Give Azura some experience. Let Katrigan move farther back than she otherwise would have been able to. Move some people up here. Twenty-six if he hits. I see. And what do you know he hit? Alright, so that's not viable. Q outro, go!